WLWT, a two-year-old boy recovering tonight after investigators say he overdosed on what they believe to be fentanyl. And now the toddler's mother is in jail, charged with endangering children. Police say she admitted to using the drug inside her home. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live in Batavia for us with more on the investigation. Karen. Well, hey, Mike, 31 year old Samantha Green is in the jail tonight here in Claremont County. Her bond was set at $100,000 today and neighbors tell me what they witnessed over the weekend was just so terrifying and they're just very thankful to hear the two year old did not die. Samantha Green can be heard sobbing as she's escorted to a deputy's cruiser and arrested. Man, just climb up in there and I'll buckle you in. The 31 year old Williamsburg mother is now in the Claremont County Jail charged with endangering children. Saturday morning, she called 911 from her Concord Square apartment. Hello, my son's now bleeding. He's two years old. She can be heard attempting to give her son CPR. Medics are on their way, okay? Ma'am, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm getting CPR. According to a police report, Green told officers her son suffers from severe asthma. But when first responders arrived, they said his agonal breathing and pinpoint pupils were consistent with an overdose and gave him two doses of Narcan. They just saw the uh, child being carried out by the paramedics and he was lifeless. And I even said, I guarantee it was an overdose. I guarantee that baby overdosed. While executing a search warrant, investigators say they found drug paraphernalia and suspected narcotics in the form of powder. They said Green admitted she last used fentanyl a week ago and admitted the drug would have been located on several items in the home because it's what she uses to cut the drug. He's just a little dude. Like, he doesn't even have a clue and probably just seen it, thought it was candy or something. I was just crushed and, you know, immediately broke into tears because I, I thought, uh, you know, I, I hope he's able to live through the situation. And thankfully, first responders and doctors knew exactly what to do. The child did survive. I did speak with the two year old's father earlier today and last update I got from him, he was at Children's Hospital with his son and he was hoping his son was going to be discharged today. Reporting live in Batavia, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. And Karen, what about the father? Did the father live in that apartment with the mother? Yeah. No, the, the father did not live in that apartment. The father and the mother are not together. From what I understand, the child is now in the father's care. But aside from uh, the deputies and police investigating, uh, so is CPS. All right, Karen Johnson, thanks for the information. Live in Batavia for us tonight. Also